Good morning, this is Father Stephen Kelly from St. John's Church in Detroit, and we're continuing our series of daily morning meditations where we generally look at one or another of the lessons that are assigned for morning or evening prayer, what is known as the daily office lectionary. But today I thought we'd do a little deviation because uh, as a parish, we are reading through and meditating through a little booklet that was put together uh, for the parish that actually came from a booklet that I found in the parish library a few years ago. Uh, this particular book, uh, Renewal of the Church, uh, was a series of meditations given to the Episcopal Church women, uh, which used to be called the Women's Auxiliary of the Episcopal Church, in 1952. And it is a book about how to renew the church so that it could be focused on mission. Uh, and from this uh, pamphlet of meditations that were given at a retreat in 1952, uh, we developed this booklet uh, here about the renewal of the church. And um, because we're trying to help us during this time of corona tide, during this time where everything's had kind of been set back and, we, and we're trying to reset and get back into the life of the work and ministry of the church, this is a good time for us to focus on what it is that the church does and how it is that we are doing ministry to the greater glory of God. Uh, the reason why I'm standing in this location, which is actually the hallway between the chapel and the church, is because the author of this pamphlet uh, is right behind me. Uh, this is Bishop Richard Emmerich. He was the Bishop of the Diocese of Michigan from 1948 to 1972. That's a terribly long time uh, to serve as a bishop, but he turned served into really interesting days of the life of the church. Uh, at the time, the Diocese of Michigan encompassed the entire eastern half of the state of the Lower Peninsula of Michigan, uh, which is now actually two separate dioceses, the Diocese of Michigan and the Diocese of Eastern Michigan. Uh, and when he was the bishop, he helped to plant and found 49 new churches in the, our half of the state of Michigan. Um, I, I think there probably is no time when more churches have been planted during the episcopate of one particular person, uh, in Michigan especially, than during the time of Bishop Emmerich. But one would understand that he is certainly would be focused on mission and ministry because he is actually the son of missionaries and was born in Turkey while his parents were actually uh, working as missionaries. So he certainly had a great understanding. He was actually a great academic. Uh, you can look up online his uh, credentials, but he was very much a learned man and a good motivator uh, for the life of the church. And I, I just thought I would talk, uh, read a little bit uh, from one of these meditations to kind of give you a taste of what he has to say. Uh, this is from our booklet uh, taken out of there, uh, the chapter called The Church is God's Instrument, which is our meditation for day 13. The church is that body to which has been entrusted the bearing of the gospel to all men, the conversion of the world. Never forget that the church is God's instrument existing for the sake of the wide world around us. When the church is truly itself, it is filled with a passion for souls, and it is restless and filled with longing when it sees sheep without a shepherd. It is an army with banners marching out of the past and into the future. It is the body of Christ in which his spirit lives and through which he carries on the salvation of men. Missions are not an appendage, a hobby. The church is a mission. And if it is not a mission, it is not the church. If Christ was the divine beachhead, the church is the army of Christ that extends the beachhead. We lose the finest souls if there is a preoccupation with the past and miss the great opportunity of teaching a hopeful task to the world, to a world without hope. A true church is an ambassador. It is meant to get out to gear its entire life in missionary endeavor. Now he's not talking about us writing a check to the church in Northern Malawi, which we do raise funds for because of our longtime relationship with Bishop Jackson Biggers. But he's talking about being a missionary entity right here in the city of Detroit and in the neighborhoods of the church, of the uh, neighborhoods of the houses where we live, 
our job as the church, remember the church is the body of Christ, it's all the people of God, that's the church. Not the building, but the big C church. All of us are called to know Christ and to make him known. And so it is that we are working diligently and we will continue to work as we are reopening uh, after all of this COVID stuff and in the middle even of the COVID stuff to learn more and more about Jesus Christ uh, in order for us to be able to share him and to become a prayerful people, a worshipful people, and a prayerful people so that God can equip us for that task. So we thank God for Bishop Emmerich, uh, and we pray and meditate, and we ask God to help us to become the church that he desires us to be. I hope that you have a wonderful Wednesday. May God bless you.